I don't know what to say. Um, I was in my car on my way home from class, and uh, I heard it on the radio. At first, I just figured, oh, they're they're just being stupid. But then, you know, they started saying, oh, TMZ.com says that Michael Jackson is dead. And I'm like, are you serious? So I started calling my sister, and I started calling my friends, and I'm like, are you hearing this? And I, ha I broke the news to my sister, and we spent a lot of time talking, and um, I cried a little bit. I admit that because he was an amazing performer. Uh, we're never going to see him perform on stage again. He was getting ready to go on tour. And um, at first I thought maybe it was a gimmick for his tour. And I think it's a European tour uh, for his tour. And I figured, ah, oh, he'll pop up somewhere in like a week singing Thriller or something, you know? Because it would be his big comeback. But I'm starting to think that, uh, yeah, he's dead. Which is we it would it's so weird to me that you know he's fifty years old and with all the f technology that we have, he dies from a heart attack. I mean, it would make more sense if he died from like a horrible plane crash or, but I mean, an idol like that going down in a in a you know a heart attack and then cardiac arrest. I'm not even sure what that is, but it seems like there would be something else involved in this. And you know, you if you start watching the television now, they're gonna start talking about. Oh, people have said that he, they, he seemed like he was out of it. Uh, they brought a lot of alcohol to his mansion. Yada, 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 yada. Well, I don't know what, this always happens whenever someone dies. They're like, oh, we have to have this conspiracy theory. Like, oh, maybe he was high on 987 different drugs and then he overdosed on 988 or something. I don't, wait, how, what number did I use? Whatever. But they're saying, oh, he overdosed. Oh, he, ha he was on this all this medication. He never seemed like he was there, like, mentally. Whatever happened, if he's gone, he's gone. We're never going to be able to see him perform again. We're not going to, you know... He was, he was amazing. He was an amazing dancer, a dancer, amazing vocalist. He could pull a video together and just, you know, blow you out of the water. Thriller was the 80s. Thriller characterized the 80s. Uh, Michael Jackson was the heart of the late 70s and the early to mid 80s. He did uh, Smooth Criminal. If you haven't heard Smooth Criminal, you live under a rock. And either that in a very, very, very deep hole, like in the center of the earth and whatever. But um, regardless, he was an amazing performer. He knew what he, he knew how to bring a crowd to applause. He knew what he was doing there. I don't know about, you, you know, the kids, pedof uh, pedophile stuff. I don't really know what my stand is on that. Uh, he, you know, Michael Jackson was a kid himself at heart. I mean, he, he had a, a ranch call or whatever called Neverland. He didn't want to grow up himself. He was just a big kid. And I'm not trying to glorify him or anything, but I am saying that I don't know what my stand is on the, the pedophile thing. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. Sometimes I think, oh, he would never have done that. And then other times I'm thinking, well, do we really know Michael Jackson? And, um, you know, to close the whole video, he was an amazing performer. He knew, he knew how to bring to life uh, songs, lyrics. He, the man knew how to dance. He defined the dance styles and everything of the 80s. He was the heart of pop culture in that time period. And you'll never, you know, you'll never go through uh, FYE or, you know, even Walmart's Music Center without hearing something about Michael Jackson. Probably more now that he's dead, but, you know, he, he's just who he was.